We are with Ali, with Quant at uh, DarwinX. Can you tell us what is your daily work at uh, DarwinX on the broker part and on the asset management part? Uh, the asset management part. So uh, I'm uh, originally a trader at DarwinX. I came in as a client uh, two and a half years ago. I'm still a trader at DarwinX. And um, most recently I've been tasked with setting up uh, DarwinX Labs, which is our own proprietary investment uh, quantitative hedge fund that will be open to third parties. But it's basically our effort at uh, essentially taking our trader, com trader investor community to a whole new level, leveraging this data uh, to support our own community and compensating our community for providing this intelligence uh, as we take these things to market. So it's, it's a work in progress and we're, we're, we're road, map, ra road mapping this as we speak. Today you and uh, your CEO present a new version of DarwinX. Did you work hard on it and do you think it's really improved um, the performance that traders will have with Darwin's, with DarwinX? I think the performance of traders has improved dramatically over just a, a very small period of maybe one uh, one year to 14 months. Uh, initially, the uh, Darwinia, uh, which is uh, the, the sort of competition that's run by DarwinX every month, uh, was attracting uh, every sort of trader, and this was very in the very beginning, but now uh, we're very happy to report that over, over the last year and a half, you can see the almost organic growth of traders into more professional traders as they learn from other traders on the platform, as they learn from you know the content we publish, as they learn from our our, our delivery, how we present our ideas, what we are, what our vision is. Traders are growing, uh, and we've seen a market improvement in trader uh, trader not only psychology but also performance over time being with DarwinX. Last question. Uh, with your work, you've seen a lot of strategy, I guess hundreds or thousands of strategy of traders. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think that it's possible to have as a performance by month or by year with an uh, acceptable uh, drawdown like uh, 15 to 25 percent really maximum drawdown? What is it possible to make? In percentage? Sure, good question. Um, so I think w uh, what we preach at DarwinX is that more than one particular dr uh, drawdown, it's more important uh, to maintain stability in risk management. So what that means is, for instance, different strategies have different uh, drawdown profiles. So some strategies could be high frequency scalpers that maintain 4 to 5 percent drawdown. There are other strategies that could go as far as 30 to 40 percent drawdown. But the strategies sometimes with the 30 to 40 percent drawdown have a higher profit potential than or higher returns than the scalpers with the four or five percent drawdown. So what do you do? What do you focus on? Is it differences in drawdown or do you focus on something else? What's more important? And we found through our research uh, as well as through uh, our algorithms that maintaining a stable risk profile has produced the best, most consistent traders on the platform. People whose risk stability deviates uh, have often seen poorer results, well, uh, less, uh, well, not as good results as the guys who maintain a stable risk profile. And we provide, our platform pro pro provides the tools to visualize your risk profile. We even tell you exactly where your risk has deviated, why it's deviated, on what basis it's deviated, and how you can improve it. So we, we do a lot to help people develop a stable risk profile because our research suggests that more more important than one drawdown versus another is keeping it constant. So you could be a high drawdown trader as long as you keep it stable your performance is likely to remain stable as well.